Good morning, children. I'm so happy to be with you again today. I'm, I trust you are well and that you are full of energy and that you are also happy to be with us today. Today I've brought along a very, very precious story. And I trust it will be a blessing and a treasure to you as it was to me. And the title of our message today is, We are God's children. We are God's children. I wonder, children, if I had to ask you the question and say, who are your parents and how do you know that they are your parents? Mm. What would you say? Mm. And maybe you're thinking, mm, mm, well, let me tell you what you can say. You can say that they are your parents because you know they are the people that take care of you and give you everything you need. Another reason could be, well, these are the people that have been with you since you were very small and looking after you, taking care of you. So let me tell you the story for today. There was once a child of a king. And this prince lived in this great castle with his father, the king. And can you imagine what a wonderful life he had in the castle? He got everything that he wanted. Other children were wishing to be like him and to be in his place because he had everything he wanted. And because he was the prince and he lived in the great castle, everybody, even adults, when they would see him, they would respect and honor him and even bow down to him. 
Ah, bang alwan pela wa kula lomfa na ebu saganja lo. Mezi jufuni deti lo itolange izi kichim. Ah, lazusis. Wa kula ganja lo ge lomfa. And this is how this prince grew up, getting everything he wanted. Anything he asked for would be there as soon as he uh, as he had asked for it, and that's how he grew up. Kote bang alwan. Go come back as cards. Babi si ambora lempilo le. Now you won't believe it, children, but you know what happened to this young prince? He started to become very tired of this life where he just got everything he wanted and he was getting so bored with it, this very nice enjoyment that you and I would have really wanted. How? Bangan bam, yam car and jalent as a boom toilet, a bounce contents so wins in Jan. Ugo singing pillaging a banya band, yin jing gains. And he started to think to himself, What is it that I can do so that I can just live like normal people, other people? Wabi said, A bang, it's okay. Uso elak basal, bakus of ela leka, good corner life is to get a corn, a besuzu ham. And so he made a plan and he said he's going to ask his father, the king, if he can go somewhere. And when he's on his way there, he'll go away. And indeed, he ran away to a far off land that was far from his home. And you won't believe it, children. When he got to that faraway land, he found another boy who looked exactly like he did. But the only difference was that this boy that he met in that faraway land didn't dress like he did. He was so poor. He just had these rags on that you saw here just now. And so this prince said to this other boy, you know what we're going to do? We are going to swap places. You're going to become me? A prince, I will put on my clothes onto you, and then you can go back to my country where, where I'm supposed to be the prince. Now we are Tabangela Gutsinje. And I'm sure you can imagine how excited this poor little boy was to get this opportunity to go and live as a prince. He was so excited, he couldn't wait. And it had to take a few days before he could go because the prince had to teach this other boy all the things he had to do because he had to behave in the way that the palace people behaved. He had to do everything in the right manner. And after some time, the training was all over and he had learned everything and it was time for him to go back to that palace. And this prince then remained in the place of this poor little boy in the poor home that he stayed in. He put on his rags and he became this other little boy. You know, they did not even have food sometimes. They really were very, very poor. And both of these boys, the prince and the poor boy, they all kept this a secret to themselves. And what happened was that this little prince, who was now staying in this poor home, actually started to become ill because he was not used to this poor life where he didn't get food and he wasn't used to the circumstances in which he was now. 
Lost of her, I lost a cousin. Ah, so I need to tell him how Bella got the bang and get a little boy at the inn and gain him. And the little pauper who had now become the prince was in the castle and in the palace with the king. Everything was going well for him, and he was really having the time of his life being the prince. Emba was cut a seed, the bang and a cousin fella, Sebefunuzi, Bemchasum Kale, Lomund was a cousin, Sagulasos Castle, so nigh, was as obing go see. And after a long time, children, it became time that the prince had to be crowned to become the king. How bang and bam, what took a pella lomund to superai, what I bo. Pelamina and Anxiona, Umtuanwang and Pale, Anxian Walip Cosin, Anguazu Tats Kunja Samganwam. And the pauper, who is now the prince, or pretending to be the prince, was a little bit nervous and he thought, I'm not really a prince. I'm going to be in trouble. I can't really become the king. Aubangan, ma'am, Wabesea Hamba, Wagbanda Batal, Wakulumikinis. And so he decided he's going to go and speak to the Adults to the advisors and tell them what's happened. Oh, bang and bam, what do you think? Um, to another person, Lois, a sex to peg any hand, your land. In the lake, Gula, I want a sabonara, no good to ye, Nabangan. And then the result was they had to go and look for the real prince where he was staying in poverty and they had to fi find him. And it was even hard to recognize him because he had become so weak and so ill where he was. Ah, bang and bam bam tata bam wise kala kep kosini bam nagegela bam seizes his fem zonga ese tolile watine se ngono. And they fetched him and they brought him back to the palace and they took care of him and looked after him until he had um, recovered from all the different illnesses he had got there in this poor home. And after he got better, they were able to crown him rightfully as the king. And even his pauper friend got a very high up position because he had done such an honorable thing. Can you imagine what a great honor and privilege this poor little boy had at the end? Now, little friends, children, ask yourself this question. What is this great privilege that you and I have? Because what the little pauper did and when he was pretending to be a prince, he did the right thing. He did what the Lord Jesus did for us. Do you know that the Lord Jesus left the palaces of heaven his castle where he is king and he came down to earth and he was mistreated and he was looked down on and he was beaten up all because of you and me. And now children, you and I have become royal children of God. And we ought to rejoice and be overjoyed by this fact. Just like the poor little boy, when he got a chance to pretend he's the prince, as happy as he was. Bangani, Ekpeteli Sofunda La Pengwatin Yokala Petro, chapter 3, verse 18. At the end, children, let's read from the Bible a verse from 1 Peter, chapter 3, and verse 18. Kufunda Ranje Bangani. It reads like this. For Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God, he was put to death in the body, but made alive by the Spirit. I 
I trust children that you enjoyed the story and that you will guard it in your hearts. And now we will close in prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for everything you have done for us. Thank you that you left heaven and all the splendor and glory of heaven to come and save us terrible sinners. Help us to always remember that and to rejoice knowing that you have saved us. Please, Lord Jesus, go with us in the rest of this day. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There's a story Sorry, sorry.